video is going over a couple key responsibilities for wingers in the defensive zone. First thing is if the other team's defenseman gets the puck, you need to get in the shot lane right away. So we see here the other team's defenseman has the puck and this winger right here, he quickly gets in the shot lane. Now what the shot lane is, this D-man is trying to get that puck going towards the net. This player needs to get into that lane so the puck cannot get there. Great job of blocking it. Now he's got a breakaway. Same thing here with this player. You can see how he's going stick on puck. He's getting his body in the lane, taking away any chance that this defenseman right here can get that puck towards the net. And one last example here, player in white does a great job of getting in that lane, putting his body on the line to block the shot. Another thing that's going to happen, this guy that's highlighted right here is a winger. Green is in the defensive zone. When Green acquires the puck, this winger needs to make sure that he gets over and is in a support position. Generally, you're going to be along the wall or close to the wall, presenting a good target with the stick and get on the breakout right away. See how he gets over there right away? Open pivots, shows a good target. Player right here is the weak side winger in the defensive zone. White comes up with the puck and he quickly gets over to the other side of the ice, presents a target, protects the puck, and gets the puck outside the blue line. Very important this guy gets the puck outside the blue line because then the other team needs to vacate the zone. And the last thing in a game, defense or goaltenders are going to be under pressure. Goaltender right here has no option, so he rims the puck along the wall. Wingers, we need to be ready along the wall to be able to pick it up under pressure and look to the middle of the ice for your center support. Centerman makes a little mistake there. Three key responsibilities for wingers in the defensive zone.